Hello everyone. Today I want to show you a new way to manage the user mailbox settings. Uh, you know, by user himself. If you log into a computer, the user I log in as uh, you know Linda Smith to a Windows 10 computer. And then I go to the you know outlook.office.com slash ECP. If I log into this website, you see this interface is like this. Like a user account, put a photo, display name and user ID, and then the mailbox usage, you know, like how much space you use for your mailbox, how much left, and your contact number. And also setting this, you know, Pobo and IMAP settings and added information. So if you on the right side, you can see there's a setup automate, automatic reply, <coughs> reply message. If you click this one, it will go here. And uh, you can set up the, you know, automatic reply. Like, you know, if you are out of office, you set an automatic reply. And also, you set up the inbox rules and uh, let me see. So, inbox rules like you know, you want you want to create a you know a rule to for the new arrive messages. You know what needs to be done. You know for the arrive message, and also you set up the retention policies. You can just add click add button to add the retention policies. Not what you want, you know, like a six months delete or five years delete or never delete. You set up different retention policy. And also you can, <coughs> if you can make a, a account again, you can change the password, you know, you can change the office specific password, just click change password. And also you can just, uh, if you go to the groups, the group says, says, you know, this distribution group you belong to, you, you can see, you know, yourself is belong to this group. If the, you email send into this group, you will receive the email. And on the right side is the distribution groups I own. This means you are the owner of the group. You can add and remove, you know, users to the group from the group. And this is the groups. And if you go to settings, Settings, if you click on mail, you see the mail, you can create a signature. You know, mail signature and ticket box to automatically include my signature and message is sent. And also for the message format, you want to always show PCC or from, you can tick this box and use the format as HTML. And on the right side, this is ask me before sending and response and reading pay. You know, that's all settings. And when you click, you can save. And this is the calendar. Calendar show work, show, uh, work week from Monday to Friday. You can select, uh, you know, Sunday, you know, Saturday if you want. And also show the reminder message, you know, 15 minutes. That's all you can <coughs> set up by yourself. And also, if you click the blue block and allow, you can select save senders and recipients. You know, if you you think this why should be the save senders, you need to add the email address or domain to this, you know, to the list. Just click add button. And also, if you want to block block senders, you can just add this one click. You put the email address of domain and then click add and save. And there's much more, you know, some more information if you want to have a look. And I think uh, everything in your mailbox in Office 365, you can do from here. Many things, you can just go to this website and then you do whatever you want and just add ins. There's some add ins you can't add to your uh, outlook so you can add more 
that is yeah, the soul from the north. Okay. 